Hello everybody, this is Jim 101. In this video, we are going to learn how to run Weka, the Learn Machine 2, on Android. So, let's get started. First, you have to make sure you have Android Studio installed on your computer. And then you have to create or open a project, Android project on Android Studio. After that, you have to download, if you don't have, one Weka data, data set. In this example, I'm using this one. So you get the link here. You download it. It's a ARFF file used by Weka, just for testing purposes. So you download this file to your computer. After that, you have to download um, Weka for Android. The actual Weka doesn't work on Android because it has some features that Android cannot run. So we have this project here. If you open in your browser, you go, you go here and you can see this project. This guy has one version of Weka that can run on Android. So you have to download this Weka striped.jar. Download this file to your computer. This is the version of Weka you are going to use on Android. The next step is to know how to import a jar file inside Weka. I have created this video, this is the link to the video, and in this video you can learn how to import a jar file inside Android. After that, you have to create the model using the dataset in order to use the model to predict new values. Here is one command that you can use on command line to create the model. One important thing, the model should be created with the same version of Weka. Don't try to create the model using your normal Weka version. It will not work on Android. So, in this example, I'm using Weka striped.jar to create the model. So, this is the command java-cp, the jar file, and then you choose your classifier. Here I'm using a multi-layer perceptron, but you can use any of uh, the um, classifiers that we can include. Here are some comments for the classifier. Here is the ARFF file. And finally, here is the name of the model. The model will be created on your computer. You have to run this command on your command line. Okay. Then you can test the model you just created. This is the command to test the model to classify new instances. Java cp the Weka jar file, the classifier name, the dataset file the model and then here is the name of the is the type of output you want to see in this case a csv file okay if this command runs okay on your command line you will see the predictions for each instance in this file you should use not the same file as here. You should use you should use one file created just for testing. Okay. Now you have to put the model created using Weka inside your Android file structure. In order to do that, you have to watch this video that I created teaching just how to save a file inside the Android file system and how to read it. 
Okay. Next, you have to learn how to use Weka inside Java. Here I have a link. And in this link, you can learn how to use Weka on Java. Okay. Um, I will put all of these links in the video description. So I will show quickly one example that works. Okay. This example is based on the link. On this link that, that teaches Weka for Java. Okay. First, I create six attributes plus one class attributes. For each one of those, I give a name. Okay. Then I create a vector with seven positions. For each position, I add an attribute. All of the attributes I created, including the class. And then I create a training set with just one instance, because I only, I only need one instance in order to test the prediction for this instance using the model that I created using the jar, the jar file. I have to say to the training set, which is the index of the class. In this case, the class is on index, index 6. Okay, now I'm going to fill the instance with values. So I create an instance with seven attribute, attributes and then I fill each attribute, attribute one, attribute two, and so on, with values, except the last one, the class, because the class we want to predict using our model. Okay, then I add the example instance to the training set. Then I create a classifier using the CPU model that I created using Weka. And then I ask for the classifier to predict the value of the instance. In this case, the first instance of the training set. Okay, now you have the value of your prediction here. In this case, I'm not using a model that predicts the class as name, but to predict a number. So in this case, it's a, the number will be the prediction. Okay? And that's it. If you have any question, please comment on the video. And if, you, if this video is useful for you, please help us by sharing it and by clicking the thumbs up button. Thank you so much and bye bye.